we have been working using the coordinate plane, um, which is the graph paper. Um, sort of looks like this. You have your x-axis and your y-axis. And you're going to have numbers on both sides. Not the best drawing. In red. That red dot is my origin. It's going to be zero, comma, zero. That is your starting point. Remember, there's also a thing called ordered pairs. An ordered pair looks like this. I'm going to write it in orange. It's your X, comma, your Y. Remember, my hint was... Like the alphabet, X comes first, then Y. So you move to the right, and then you go up. First X, then Y. If I can get a circle around it. There we go. First X, then Y. So here's an ordered pair. Two comma, three. I'd go over two, one, two, and up three. One, two, three. There's my point. I'm going to label it point A. So, um, four sevens homework looks like this. Let me turn it around. So it says, play a, a coordinate grid game, treasure steps with someone at home or by yourself. The treasure is marked with a star. And so our treasure is right here. And then you make a spinner with a paper clip and a pencil. So it says, to, if you have a partner, it says, take turns. When it's your turn to spin, the first, this is the first number in your order pair. Spin again, this is the, the second number in your order pair. Plot the point on the game board. So let's say it's my turn and I spin a six and a two. So first I write my ordered pair. I'm going to go over six, up two. There's my ordered pair. Now let's say my sister plays and she gets a eight. And five. So she goes over to the right eight and up five. One, two, three, four, five. There's her. Then it says count the number of steps from your point to the treasure. Stay on the grid lines as you count. Record your ordered pair and the number of steps. So mine would be how many am I oh, from? One, two, three, four, one, oh, okay, so, so this is at four, six, so I am four, five, I am six steps away. So, right underneath my ordered pair, I can write six steps away. My sister is at 8, 5. And our, like I said, our treasure is at, we went over 4, up 6. So 4, 6 is the treasure. So she is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps away. Now let's say you don't have anyone to play with at home. So you, 
And then it says, after five rounds, five of your total number of spe- steps. The player with the smaller total wins. So keep going. We've d- I did one for you, but you need to actually spin. Now, let's say you're playing by yourself. I'm going to leave up at the top where it's at. It so- tells you to... The goal is to get as close to 30 steps as you can. Splint, spin and plot your point and count your steps as you would if you were playing with a partner. Record the order pairs and steps. After five rounds, find the total number of steps. How close did you get to 30? So let's say I had 9 and 1, over 9, up 1. That means I'm um, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps away. So here's my ordered pair. Nine, one. And I said I was ten steps away. Now let's say I spin ten and six. My next one, ten, I'm going to go up six. Now I'm only six away. So here's my I'm only six away from the treasure. Now let's say I get a two and a three. Now I'm one, two, three, four, five away. And you'd keep going and count how many and see if you were close to thirty. The bottom says, put an X by the expressions that show 3 and 245 thousandths in expanded form. Expanded form. So that's either using the words, using multiplication in parentheses, fractions. I should see it. Number two says, write 605 thousandths in expanded form. And it says use any version of expanded form you wish. So I will be checking for those two tomorrow.